But we got a few minutes. Can you tell the audience about your experience when you were working in television uh, up on the mountains and, uh, and you had a visitor up there? Wow. Tell the people yeah. that. <laughs> well, yeah. I, uh, you know, my first job in television um, um, was at the top of a mountain in New Hampshire. Back in the late 1970s, I, you know, ran a microwave relay station and, you know, it was, uh, um, for local public TV up there. And, you know, basically in the winter, if you were, uh, if it snowed and as it did many times, you'd have to go out with a shovel and look for your car. I mean, this was a high on top of a mountain and very remote. Nothing's up there because you got to get really high up if you, you know, had this huge antenna and you beam the signal out. You know, we take a signal in on a certain frequency, uh, convert it to a, a different channel for the local people, and as all these different transmitters around the state did, and beam it out so people could get TV. And this was before the days of cable. So, um, so I'm up here at the top of this mountain, and, um, you know, I would go up there and work a shift, do 40 straight hours, and, you know, I was a transmitter technician. I would, you know, basically fire up this TV station, just basically single-handedly running a small TV station. And um, and then you, the next guy would come in and do his 40 hours. So you're up there alone for about three days. And I just powered down the transmitter and all these fans and all this big noise and stuff like that. And it's like a metal... This is like a square metal building, probably about, uh, you know, maybe, you know, 50, 60 square feet or something like that, or um, maybe, well, maybe more like 80 to 100 square feet, something like that. And then you've got a side room that gives you a little more room to sleep in. But, I mean, this was a small building, and um, I had powered down everything, and everything went totally quiet, and... I had just taken my final readings and was just basically standing there. And, and there's this um, metal door, about three-inch thick metal door. It had some windows in, in it. And um, after everything had become quiet for a couple minutes, all of a sudden this door started shaking. Something had grabbed the handle of this door and it was shaking the door so hard that the entire side of the building was like moving side to side. Something with real incredible strength was shaking this door. And, um, you know, all they had to do was turn the doorknob, but they, for some reason they didn't turn the doorknob. So anyway, I bend down and I look out the, the window and staring me right in the face is this creature glowing yellow eyes it, i swear to god and, and, and you may think i'm crazy but this thing looked just like the like a wolf man from out of one of these sci old sci-fi black and white movies except uh, you know these are glowing yellow eyes and we we just stopped for a couple seconds and once he saw me and i saw him we're just looking at each other in the eyes face to face with this thing with a pane of glass in between us and for some reason, it didn't have the um, uh, the brains enough to be able to know to turn the doorknob because if that thing got in there, what the heck would have happened next? But anyway, it after looking and staring into this you know creature's face for about ten seconds, it turns and runs and it jumps and it looked like it was uh, like something on the moon. It just would jump and it went like ten, fifteen no. feet no. in the air. And in, like in slow motion and from step to step, leaping and running away. And it just like, whoa, I did not sleep very well that night. And I locked that door immediately and was on alert for the entire, probably not only the rest of that night, but for many nights afterwards. So um, this was, um, you know, microwave radiation, microwave relay station, maybe... You know, it just made me think of the old John Keel books and how, you know, all these, uh, sometimes these radiations or energies can draw <laughs> creatures or some weird type of uh, being that you may not uh, have known about before to, to where you're at. I don't know. but um, I think there's something to that. I have, uh, I have my own experiences in relation to that, and that's exactly what I think. High-powered uh, phone lines, high-powered uh, uh, power lines 
Uh, if you're near them, you know, the heavy radiation of electricity off of those power lines, uh, there's no doubt in my mind, I've, I've heard too many experts talk about it, that uh, it pulls, it, it's so much energy that's right there, and, uh, and, and it opens up vortexes where other mm -hmm. life forms can come in to that energy field. And I've had it happen to me many times, so I know what I'm talking about. But there is yeah, a, this thing was about uh, at least seven foot tall. Probably, it wasn't over eight foot tall. It was uh, about seven foot or so. And um, it was it was really big. As far as it being scared, uh, it being a, a scary situation, it was uh, from one to ten. It was an eleven. But as far as the the brains this thing had was a negative two. So that you know it worked out for me pretty well. What did it look like? It it just had hair like all over its face. The teeth were were quite large. You know, coming out over its mouth a little bit, and um, I mean, the yellow eyes were just piercing. They were you know, like they they weren't as big uh, proportionally speaking as a cat, but they were they were big and they were glowing. And I mean, that was just like you know that the hair on my back of the neck and almost my entire body just stood on end because when you see something like that, I mean, when, and and you're in the middle of nowhere. And you got nowhere to run, and all you have is the thing is this metal door was pretty uh pretty thick, and the walls of the actual um uh building were not that thick, but uh for some reason they had a pretty darn good door on there, and it 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 didn't open up and you know it just one of the strangest things that had ever happened to me in my life, and it only lasted about ten seconds. 